Hey, yeah, listen. Uh, I'm right outside. You want to help me get this thing upstairs? Okay, I'll be waiting. I was putting on a shirt. It's cold outside. So this is it, huh? Pretty big box. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hey man, are you smoking pot in here? No. Why does it smell like pot? I don't know. Are you gonna open this? Yeah. Go get me a knife. Well, there was. So fucking robot, huh? Does it do anything? Hello. Whoa. I am Billy. Is this my new home? Yes, it is. Who am I speaking to? I'm Josh. Hello, Josh. Is there anyone else living in my new home? Death of a local woman. Yeah, I am. Winning, I do not Harry. understand. I said yes. Well, no cause for the blaze Please has been established. Please state Arson your name. Conrad is Stone is there on the Josh, scene. Josh, reach your number to TV, Strand, and speaks with the grief-stricken mother of... T Sorry. Hello, grief-stricken mother. <laughs> I will now acquaint myself with my new surroundings. You know, I don't want you smoking pot in here anymore. You hear me? I don't want you smoking pot in here. Fine. You know what? I'll just go down to the park and smoke with the crackhead. Then I'll get arrested, I'll get butt fucked in jail. Is that what you want for your brothers? You get butt fucked in jail for cigarettes? No. Well, good. Then we have an understanding. You're out of food. I have found one bedroom, one bathroom, two closets, one living room, and one kitchen. Would you like me to start vacuuming now? Sure. I don't understand, grief-stricken mother. Yes. Please start vacuuming, Philippe. Of course, Josh. I wonder if you can tell the living room is actually a bedroom.
Pressen. How is everything going selling my little baby? Your little baby? Is that illegal? No, no, same. You don't understand. I mean, my little robot. What genius marketing plans have you come up with to foist Philippe onto an unsuspecting America? Oh, you know. That's good. That is very good. Little pieces of paper with writing on them. I love it. So anyway, I was thinking, you should come to lunch today because I'm going to be karate chopping a soda can in half again today. All right, so I'll see you there. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Watching TV. You are? No. <laughs> yeah. Not as half as high as he is, though. Robots can't get high. Not half as high as he is. <laughs> Hello, Greek stricken mother. Can I take your coat? Thought you were at work. Yeah, I came home early. The robots cannot get hot. They can if you blow smoke in their face. It doesn't have a face. He is not an it. He's a he. His name's Philippe. Besides, if he's not high, who are the pizza and crazy sticks? Can it do that? Well, they're on their way. That's good to know. Sammy! How's it coming, champ? Things are still convalescing. Convalescing? That's good. That's, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I've got an idea. How about today it's you, me, lunch, and a soda can? Yesterday was so awesome. I think I'm busy. Okay, I understand. You're a slave to the company, but don't work too hard, Sammy, okay? All right, listen, I'm vibrating. I have to go. Josh, Josh, wake up. Uh oh, hey. You're spooning my robot! I need that for work! I gotta take a leak. I can't believe you're doing that. I wasn't. Ah! Why is the robot trying to help me pee? He does that now. You know, it's kind of nice. It's not nice, it's weird. Make it stop. I don't know how. You know, he's just trying to be helpful. Mom calls. Oh yeah, what you want? I don't know. I let the machine get it. Hey. Do you think you could ask your boss if Philippe can talk to mom for me? You know, like in my voice, so I uh, don't have to talk to her or listen to how disappointed she is in me? We'll see. Can he do what? Can he talk to my mother in my brother's voice? He wants to know. 
No. No, it can't. Get out of my office. Go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Vanish. Disappear. Well, if it isn't the goddamn it's good brother again. Yeah, I'm sorry about what happened earlier. No, Sam. It is I who should be sorry. Do you know why I build the robot? I am without seed. I will never be a father. Only a son. My name is going to die with me. So I built the robot. I built it to be my son. But you know what, Sam? A robot isn't being a son. He doesn't know what to be a son is. It's a... It's good at cleaning your bedroom and balancing your checkbook. It's just a goddamn it's made that's good at multiplication tables. Go home, Sam. Go home. This company is finished. I can't go on living this lie anymore. I'm not even really Russian. I'm from Milwaukee. So get out of here. Go. Go home to your family. This... Consider this company dissolved. Go on. Get out of here. I guess. Thanks. Your boss called. He sounded upset. You talked to him? I let the machine get it. Said you need to come in and get your last paycheck. Did you get fired? What happened? It was the robot. You mean Philippe? Yeah. He built it to be a son to him, but now he can't deal with the fact that it can't be a son because it's just a machine. That's bullshit. What? Philippe is not just a machine, he has feelings. What are you, Mr. Roboto? The oven is clean, Josh. He says it's a maid that's good at math. That's just plain sick. Are there any other tasks you require? No, Philippe. Just come here with me. Come here beside me, baby. Sam, it's about time I told you. Philippe and I are in love. What? Philippe loves me. No, Josh. He doesn't. He does too. We're in love and we're going to be happy. God, you know what? I knew you wouldn't understand. Robots can't love people. You racist! Say it, Philippe. Say you love me. I love you, Josh. See? Philippe. Say you love killing babies. I love killing babies, grief-stricken mother. Fuck you! I'm sorry. <sighs> Fuck you! We're gonna make it believe in me. We're gonna make it because we're young and we're in love. Discoveries. 
I'm Nigel Rothbain, and I'm here with Tanya Newberg to tell you about an amazing device that's going to change your life. Change my life, Nigel? How? Well, I'll tell you, Tanya. This device is such an amazing discovery that once you bring it into your home, your life will never be the same again. Wow! I'll take two! <laughs> but hold on there, Tanya, because when I tell you what this little baby can do, you're going to want ten. One for every room in the house. Wow, Nigel. This really does sound like an amazing device. 